Hello and welcome to yet another amazing uh, session. We are going to discuss today about uh, lessons and strategies which uh, popular fund manager Peter Lynch used to use. And I went through his book uh, multiple number of times actually. This is the book uh, which he has. This is the book he has written. I am sure you might have read this. It is called One Up the Wall Street. I I'll pasted the link also below this uh, video. So this uh, book is uh, very, very amazing in the context that uh, it talks about very, very practical aspects of investing rather than a lot of other books which are talking here and there about all those, you know, typical gyan, what we tell just theory, but no practical stuff. Unlike those kind of books, Peter Lynch is like very, very practical. And in his book also, he has you know, massively covered lot of American companies example. So what we'll do today is uh, we will try to dissect uh, the learnings of uh, Peter Lynch in this video. And we'll also take a lot of Indian examples so that we can relate with those learnings and we can understand why and what the scenario is there in the overall investment industry. Yeah, so if you are ready as usual, just type ready in the comment box. I can see Jayanta, Daisy, Rajan, Captain Prasanna, all of you are online. Super awesome. Thank you so much for joining online. And uh, let's get started with uh, the mind map as usual. So what we are going to discuss is three parts. Okay, there are three concepts uh, which we are going to learn. And uh, first is the practical approach to investing. That is what I told you know, the Peter Lynch style is more practical oriented. So we'll try to focus what are the practical aspects around it. Second, you know, we'll make it intuitive, you know, so that you can understand without any kind of jargons and it is straight to the point. And third is uh, we need a proper framework to implement all these things. So I'll talk to you about uh, some of the things which I am using and a lot of you are also from my community. So you know some bit of it. Uh, so that is what will again relate with the framework, how we can implement these learnings because knowledge without implementation is nothing, right? So we'll try to focus how we can implement those things. So that is the different aspect which we are going to cover. And let's straight away jump into the five learnings which I'm going to cover today. So today will be awesome five learnings. And uh, the first learning is this. So the first learning is called scuttlebutt approach. Why and what is scuttlebutt approach? Scuttlebutt approach is nothing but when you do a ground level research, you actually go to promoters, you go to distributors, you talk to employees. When you are doing a lot of ground level research, that is what Peter Lynch says uh, scuttlebutt. And it could start as basic as from your home also. Okay, so if you are, you know, taking bath from Dettol soap, then that is also scuttle, but you check that, okay, what is uh, these guys doing and what are other products of Dettol and which company is producing it. And same way, you know, if you have bought a toy for your children and you check it out that, okay, which company is making this toy, that is also called scuttle, but so very minute things in your surroundings, which you are checking directly or indirectly, intentionally or intentionally. But ultimately, if you are doing some kind of research through this, and if you are finding new ideas through that process, that is called scuttlebutt. Okay. So now let's go to mind map and try to understand what Peter Lynch uh, went into in terms of scuttlebutt approach. So he believed in, you know, seeing what are the shifts that is happening around it because that is where you make humongous return if you are able to find the shifts that are happening uh, that is a powerful concept and that is where you know in my presentation also uh, even on my platform business presentation i shared this uh, beautiful uh, picture drawn by safal niveshak i have also you know uh, recommended the link of that article he has also written actually the article on how to find great businesses Peter Lynch way. So I, I would highly recommend to read that article also and this picture all credit to him. Now what he was talking about is, uh, you know, things surrounding us as I was speaking just now, you know, if you are uh, using a soap in your uh, overall uh, bathing, if you are wearing a particular kind of uh, shoes, if you are using a different kind of fan or a AC or a car, you can actually get a lot of ideas from that. So that way he pointed out, you know, there are a lot of ideas like Pity Light, there are uh, Hanung Toys and Relaxo and Bata and uh, Voltas and Havels and all that. Now that is fine, you know, this is all history. It, it, it has already happened. These are all multi-baggers. But can you spot the shift that is happening? 
and uh, when i talked about my platform business video i also asked about it so can you tell me what is the shift that is happening so if you if you see very minutely if you think about it there are so many things that are changing so now if you think about it uh, people are moving towards different platforms so kids no more play too much with uh, you know those uh, physical toys they are probably playing digital video games and all those games then uh, probably people are not cooking too much of food at home and uh, the delivery is happening through zomato and we are not watching uh, typical you know you know dish tv kind of setups it is all moving to the otts so that kind of shift that is happening around us and we cannot just sit on old ideas and think that okay now maruti was a great company and 10 years after also it will be great company no because there are so many disruptions that is happening around us and if we just stick to old winners without thinking about future then we are mistaken i am not saying these companies will die but you need to have incremental growth that is coming in and that is what i'll also talk in the third point where the growth aspects are there there is a detailed thing and today the video is slightly going to go for slightly longer because i have gone very very in depth deep dive if you are okay with that uh, if you are ready to digest more and more just uh, put a thumbs up so that i know you are ready for this and it is going to be marathon session but you will learn a lot in this session that is my promise to all of you okay so let's come back uh, over here and uh, let's uh, get into this shift okay so this is what i was talking about in the platform business is also that lot of these old businesses are getting disrupted by lot of aggregators now okay and we have seen recently you know lot of companies like zomato has just got listed recently and uh, there are few more players which are also coming up in this space even baiju is unlisted but it is aggressively coming in the education space big basket is again in unlisted but it is heavily disrupting the grocery market so there are so many such businesses which are uh, coming and disrupting the existing players okay so that is uh, the focus area when you think about the peter lynch style of uh, investing and you know we do this uh, detailed exercise and uh, in fact today's time and age you don't need to meet other people from industry or distributors and all that today's time and age if you are digitally connected with other people okay then you can easily call those guys or you can meet those people and you can understand what is going on so earlier it was too tough you need to physically meet and all that now you know with lot of tools and technology which is available you can actually know other people in the same sector or different sector which you are analyzing and you can get lot of industry level insights from them you know and and particularly like in community we have like more than uh, 2000 plus members over here and uh, they interact with each other they know who is in which industry and they get in touch with them and uh, if somebody is working in it they they just call them and say hey what's happening in it industry somebody is in auto they they check it out and that is how you know it is with such kind of investing communities where you can you know shorten your learning curve and uh, spend much lesser money and much lesser time which is which is very very important okay now one thing which uh, peter lynch has uh, you know cautioned in this approach is the scuttle but should be only starting point you need to understand the overall business model of the company and there are five such business model which i'll talk in the third learning which i'll be sharing but you cannot just blindly say that okay i'm i'm uh, eating uh, you know sunfist biscuits and i'll buy itc you know i'm uh, using this particular tool and i'll buy this you know if i'm uh, using vodafone uh, you know network i'll buy vodafone you'll you'll probably get bankrupt if you do that okay so that is just a starting point just to start the hint that okay let me now see the business what they are doing how they are doing okay so make sure that you don't blindly just go into that sector okay i wanted to just caution you and if you are not watch yet uh, my platform business video i would highly recommend later on you can just search with top 10 powerful platforms with vivek mashrani and you will be able to find this amazing uh, video it is and you should definitely watch it now second point which uh, peter lynch says is sector understanding so if a company is you know growing and uh, it is doing all the good things but imagine the sector is not favorable or the ecosystem is not favorable for that sector what happened during the covid fall 
all the airline companies were suffering all the hotel industry were suffering all you know traditional businesses on the ground which were dependent on uh, the normal distribution were suffering restaurant business was suffering now imagine you are best restaurant in the town or the best hotel in the town or a best airline company it doesn't matter right because the entire sector is like going for crazy downturn whatever you do probably you will survive but is it possible that you will grow crazily very very low into that sector which is not having favorable tailwinds so second point which is very very important is understanding of the sector and then identifying which sector have those kind of tailwinds okay so let's go into the mind map and uh, you will hopefully understand that right so you need to first develop a circle of competence that which sector are you able to analyze properly okay and if you are not able to do again you know the environment like investing community is very very fruitful like i do something called as hackathon where people form teams and they do sector analysis together so somebody who is not knowing pharma doctor in the community they will teach what pharma means and they will do homework together and tailwinds or not because as i said you know it's all about probability and improving odds even if you are best of the best company and that sector is not performing most of the times that company will also not perform no so that is very critical in fact you know i did a exercise on my twitter handle if you have checked like last year i posted uh, on different sectors which are you know having tailwind so i selected specialty chemicals pharma agri and then uh, it and platform businesses and now fast forward one year you know where it has gone but i'm not saying you know there are a lot of multi baggers which has come up that is the outcome of the process what i'm trying to tell you is follow this kind of process so that you can identify those uh, sectors which are having tail wheel so you can go through this later stage you know i have done a lot of other uh, videos also on sector analysis which i have embedded and probably i'll share the link also below this uh, video once uh, this video gets uploaded okay so this is what uh, you need to do okay that uh, you need to pick up a sector which are having tailwinds and then finding great winners in that sector will be much much easier okay and in fact if you want to watch the videos which i was talking about you can go to chemical sector uh, analysis video on my same youtube channel which i did in 2018 after that lot of 510x beggars have come in out of this sector and last year i also did on um, pharma api companies and lot of companies like loras labs and newland lab and lot of these companies became multi bagger after that but but again you know the idea is it is all about process you know that is the emphasis i am te telling and uh, that is what is happening so if peter lynch uh, multiple decades back the same process was working and last year if i am applying the same process and it is working that means it can work in the future also that is the point i am trying to drive through okay so that is the second idea in terms of the lessons which i have learnt and i pretty much implement and i in fact have a entire checklist sector checklist uh, which i use to analyze these kind of companies now third this is one of the most powerful and most important criteria to look for when you are investing okay which is earnings growth and i generally tell to my members also that it's not just earnings growth you need to have a profitable earnings growth where you have decent roc and roe so that uh, you are not just burning money and growing just for the sake of it you are actually doing a profitable growth um, on a decent rocs and you are also reinvesting back your capital okay so let's uh, deep dive into this particular point and let's understand what i mean by earnings growth so there is this entire uh, cycle which uh, goes like this let me share the screen and you will be able to see okay so this is the cycle which i have again uh, taken from trade like a stock market wizard by mark minervini again highly recommend uh, great book but what he talks about is uh, the stages of the company so initially you know the companies are in this phase you know value stock phase where it is growing very very decently 10 15% growth but then some of the companies are really special which grow multifold and in this part i'll talk about five different such kind of stocks and we'll go deeper into it but i'm just giving the foundation so that you can easily understand that part by the way if you are enjoying this so far just type enjoying in the comment box and if you are not noted my twitter handle here it is okay 
here is my twitter handle you can check it out even on my twitter handle that thread which i mentioned so let's come to this so the first part is where you know the growth is very slow and then there are a lot of companies which grow at a super normal rates okay i call it acche din phase you know where companies are growing growing like crazy and then you know it will go into a growth stage and ultimately it will saturate and then all the companies ultimately go down like if you see all the traditional companies like mafatlal group it is no more probably there listed if uh, you think about infosys it is hardly growing at 10 15% if you think about nestle it is growing very 10 12% right so all these companies ultimately die but the idea is you need to capture this blue dotted phase which is out there and uh, this is what i called acche din the growth phase which is out there okay now this is the example of a classic company like aisher motor okay so if you see in 2007 8 9 it was growing hardly like 13% 18% 20% but suddenly if you see from 2011 to 2016 it went into that acche din phase 42% to 68% kind of growth crazy growth right and then you know if you see the growth started falling so a lot of people you know generally say that you know we should follow buy and hold and you know once we have got great company we should keep holding that is a wrong thing you know you need to continuously monitor the company right the company which was winner in the past may have like 3 4 very very bad years and you might you know lose all your profits so that is the reason you need to be very very cognizant and when i talk about this earnings growth and different kind of stocks we'll discuss what is the implementation framework around it but you need to be cognizant it is not like we you just buy and forget because as i shown in the first point itself there is so much of disruption that is happening across the industry so it's not like old days when a company used to grow like 20 25 years the the cycle of that growth is getting lesser and lesser and the time period is going much much narrower okay so now let's uh, come to the points which uh, i want to discuss here so earnings growth is very important and lot of people they just look multiples which is called price to earnings multiple in isolation they will say okay 50 pe ka ho gaya uh, it is very very expensive and then think about aisher motor example which i showed if it is growing like 30 40 50 60% every year do you think paying a 50 multiple is expensive i don't think so right if you see a sustainable earnings growth and the growth is much higher than the kind of multiple you are paying then you have got a good deal on the other hand you know lot of people jump into companies uh, buying you know 5p 10p and bahut sasta mil gaya and then they they hardly grow they might have grown in the past but they they hardly grow in the future so that is where focus on future growth don't look at p in isolation and understand the kind of companies you are entering you know there are five kinds of different companies which are there so the first kind of company is called slow grower what is slow grower this is slow grower let me show it to you okay i've i've got some amazing stuff so you will enjoy it let me show the slow grower okay so this is the guy who is slow grower so bas pade hai chal raha hai ho raha hai that kind of thing right so this is like a slow grower ke bhai kuch bhi nahi karna hai aaram se 2% 4% 5% kind kind of of growth is is happening and that is the slow grower kind of companies can you can you name some sector or companies which are slow growers there are, there are companies in utility space there are companies uh, where you know the overall you know sector is not moving anywhere the sector tailwinds are not there in fact headwinds are there or there is too much of competition that is where you will find lot of slow growers bhai chal raha hai ho raha hai and they don't make much money for the investors okay now the second one is called stalwarts stalwarts are the one which has gone through that curve i shown the aisher motor and that picture where all the dotted line is over acche din is over ab now it is saturation it is too big right so that is the second kind of company and uh, do you want to see the picture around it just type bio bring it on in the comment box 
सो आई शो वॉट इज द स्टॉल वर्ड्स राइट दीज आर स्टॉल वर्ड्स कि भाई हीरो बन गए हैं बट नाउ वॉट वॉट नेक्स्ट राइट सो दे आर ऑलरेडी विनिंग द गेम बट नाउ द ग्रोथ इज नॉट देयर दे आर ऑलरेडी एट द पीक टेन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट ग्रोथ एंड बिकॉज दे हैव सम कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज दे हैव मोनोपोलीज द मार्केट विल गिव स्लाइटली हायर पी बट यू विल नॉट सी दैट काइंड ऑफ फास्ट वेल्थ क्रिएशन विच यू सी इन द the next category which i'll be showing that is fast growers right so uh, if you want to study some of these you can watch my video so top 10 monopolies some of these companies are growing and monopolies some of these are just monopolies and because they have good business model they are also falling into stalwarts so you have to differentiate between the stalwarts when you enter in a bear market where there is high safety that could be a good investment because the d rating will not happen that significantly or it has already happened whatever has to happen and uh, you can you can make some safe returns out there but in the kind of normal bull market i think the next category which i'll be talking about that is fast grower is very very important these are companies which are into their growth phase that acche din phase and if you ride them properly you can make tons of money okay so what are the fast growers look like let's see so these are the fast growers right so this is where you need to be so they are not winners but they are working very very hard to get there and they are winning the game so if you partner with these kind of uh, fast moving companies which are growing very fast for a long period of time sustainably with a good return ratios that is where you will hit the jackpot okay so that is the third category which are emerging winners and most of the times you will find some decent mid cap and small cap companies into this category and if they can do that for long period of time like 5 10 15 years they can become somebody like stalwarts and when you have a journey from fast growers to stalwarts that is where you make amazing money okay these are your multi baggers where one or two such companies can change your life okay so that is called uh, you know a fast grower now let's come to cyclicals so cyclicals are again a typical companies which are moving into cycles right so they they grow slightly higher and then they again go back to the normal make losses and then again come back so these are companies which are like moving here and there you know sometimes they are doing consistent profit for 3 to 3 4 quarters then they they go into some kind of losses so that is where you cannot just have buy and hold strategy lot of people you know think that they have got a multi bagger long term fast grower end up getting into cyclical wait for it uh, to get butchered in the down cycle and the worst thing they do is you know they basically average down also sometimes so don't be like that i have seen one of my friend he was very great investor you know last cycle 2017 18 he picked up uh, rain industry okay and uh, he thought that great company it has some competitive advantages and good promoter and all those you know, typical fundamental analysis he did and nothing wrong with it but he failed to understand that it is cyclical so probably from 40 rupees he was uh, entering and then all the way around probably till 400 he was holding and he was very happy you know i made 10x returns and then that down cycle came in and uh, it probably went all the way around to like 60 70 rupees now imagine you know what kind of blunder this is and that is where you know you need to learn the cycles what is the kind of sector and what are the cycles you cannot just have buy and hold and say that okay it is a great company great promoter let me hold it forever and worst case don't average down right so all these kind of mistakes i have covered in one of my video 10 mistakes uh, do, that investors make do watch it later it's very powerful video you know all these kind of mistakes lot of people make it and then they end up losing big big money okay so that is on uh, cyclicals and i'll tell you about stage analysis also basically what i showed you can actually learn through a concept called stage analysis it is not very popular in fundamentals but uh, in the technical study it is very very popular and just this one concept can save your tons of money and i i do that in my hackathon also with my all community members i actually ask them to do stage analysis look at the companies uh in stage 1 2 3 4 and they analyze and then they end up into understanding where in that entire cycle they are if you are in a you know stage 4 where it is downgrading 
then uh, probably you know it will be brutal for you okay so you need to get out you need to have exit strategy come on a lot of people say you know we don't need to exit you know ek bar acha kuch khareed liya but you never know right whether it is right or no so that is a very critical point now the next one is uh, basically turnarounds turnarounds like company hero to zero or zero to hero okay so they are basically zero and then they become hero how many of you have seen uh, rab ne bana di jodi movie just type me if you have seen this movie so this is what i am talking about right so this is uh, sharukh khan before uh, the hero journey and uh, then you know how he has transformed so this is what i mean by turn around is right uh, ki earlier it is not performing but then you know some trigger happens new management new product uh, and it it turn or turns around okay so that is a different kind of play you need a special kind of skills to play these kind of companies but yeah some people also have capability to understand the turn around story and you can do that with technical indicators also like i use some of the breakout strategy and all that to find out whether there is potential turn around that is happening then you go back to fundamentals and check it out because uh, you know just fundamentals will be too difficult there are like 3000 4000 companies unless you know somebody personally just with fundamentals it will be very difficult so you can use tools like technicals and breakouts and all that to at least get started which are the companies which are showing such signs you can then research fundamentals and then go deeper around it right so what i practice is something called as a techno funda so i blend basically technicals and fundamentals for long term investing not for trading and that is my forte okay so let's uh, move to the approach which i follow right so the companies which are fast growers it will not be known names most of the times right fast growers are something which is just getting started and probably you know you need to pay attention to that so stalwarts are very easy to find you know somebody tells me nestle somebody tells me dabur all of all of us knows right but a uh, fast grower is where you need to be careful and you need to pretty much spend so much of time and what uh, peter lynch has said in his uh, you know overall aspect also is that you know you need to have a tactical portfolio you need to keep churning out companies and keep studying companies so what he is saying is ki i always you know thought ki if i look at 10 companies you will find one company that is interesting you know so you you research some 10 companies then you research some 20 companies then you will find like two companies are really good and if you if you you know explore 100 companies you will find probably 10 companies which are decent and which can you know win the game for you in the long run and that can make lot of money and again you know you cannot just depend on fundamentals to do that you can also use some price volume action and all that i use a tool called ridewinners.com and uh, that is where you know i also find these kind of new companies and i get them into my satellite portfolio so what i follow is a, a strategy called core and satellite satellite is where you basically find newer companies and uh, research them and then if it is working fine it, you move it in the core right so this is what is the screen which i was talking about so this is where i get price volume action in different sector and companies and then i basically study them and this is the kind of portfolio structure i have like so right side is the satellite part where i analyze this part what uh, peter lynch is talking about that you need to look at different companies and i take tracking position because unless you don't put money you will not get conviction so that is where you basically study lot of companies by taking tracking position and if it works out in your favor you average up and then ultimately get him into the core portfolio so you need to look for hundreds of companies and then you will find those 10 companies which can ultimately move to your core portfolio and peter lynch was exactly following similar approach maybe his percentage breakdown and uh, the terminologies which he is using was different but this is what he meant by having a tactical portfolio that is the satellite portfolio which you see on the right hand side okay so that is uh, on the learnings from the types of company and uh, as i said you know focus on exit strategy you need a exit strategy if you want to 
properly execute the entire position because buying and adding is very easy you know you just need to put money somebody gave you tip and you put money but uh, the real game is exit strategy because if earnings gone then party is over earning is the holy grail so and most of the times the beauty is the technical indicators give you the indication first before the fundamentals comes out so you need to get alerted through technical analysis and then go back to your fundamental thesis and check whether the earnings are getting impacted or not because earning gone to party over right so you need to make sure that you are there in the party and you are out before the party is over because otherwise it will be too difficult again you will get butchered and it will be very very painful by the way if you want to learn this uh, entire system you know in terms of how i think about buying how i think about adding how i thinking uh, think about exiting and all that you can uh, join my upcoming master class uh, and you can uh, understand live this is a free master class you can just bookmark this link because here you know i'm just covering from the broader perspective but there is much deeper aspects around it if you want to learn you can uh, join this master class okay I i'll share the link also below this uh, video and you can check it out okay so this is in terms of uh, the principle around earnings growth which uh, peter lynch is telling about now the fourth point very critical point again is uh, in terms of growth driver proxy what is growth driver proxy so say for example you know that a uh, real estate industry is growing but you also know that uh, not many players in the real estate industry are that kind of great companies or they are not making money consistently although they are growing because the industry structure is like that or sometimes you might not have a listed play in that like say for example if you want to play ev you might not have too many options if you want to play something around uh, ai you might not have too many options so that is where what peter lynch says in his fourth principle is you need to have a proxy of these growth okay so you need to have proxy place so let me give you an example so suppose the industry like ev where you have like ola scooter recently uh, if it is performing now you you know that ola is not listed play then how to get benefit of that ola scooter's growth then there is a company called fiam industry which just got a order and you know they they are basically is providing material to ola i'm not saying buying or selling this company i'm just giving the framework how to think about it okay you do your own research if you feel like then only enter again you know these these should be starting points not the decision making points now the second is a uh, something like asian paints if it is like growing 10 15% but you have other company which is uh, very small and it can grow more incrementally than asian paints i i researched that company also some time back which is called multic packaging right which is making the cans so if if asian paints grows then they will need more cans and that plastic can will be supplied by multic packaging same way you know if zeroda is growing intensely because a lot of affi uh, affiliate marketing is happening a lot of influencers are promoting the platform is really great then it is not a listed company so you can have a proxy play through cdsl because lot of uh, the zeroda is exclusive broker for cdsl and if the growth comes in zeroda it will also come in cdsl to an extent whatever the proportionate uh, you know contribution is there from zeroda so that way you can play now if say real estate is moving and uh, you don't like the players directly in real estate or there is corporate governance issue you can again have a proxy plays like sera which is a debt free company and all that right so i'm just giving again examples but this is what uh, uh peter lynch meant by proxy plays and sometimes there would be very heavy competition in the sector also like if you see telecom right although the sector is growing great story and all that but because there is heavy competition most of the players were not able to make money there are like more than 10 companies back uh, in 2010 and now you see there are like two three players which are left out idea and uh, uh, you know vodafone merged out airtel is bleeding vodafone is also uh, in the verge of bankruptcy and uh, jio is also not making that great money as of now and if you see other players like tata telecom and uh, telenor and lot of these players videocon 
all these have vanished right now if you want to play a proxy of this sector by not getting burnt out because of this competitive intensity you can again have a proxy play which is say software manufacturer for telecom companies or tower companies which are monopolies those kind of proxy plays you can play around and you can make money around it okay so this is the fourth principle which he is talking about now let's come to the fifth principle and this is again a very very powerful principle he says that you need to develop edge when it comes to investing in markets because if you do same thing what other people are doing and you have same information which other people are having you are most likely not going to make outperformance or great returns for yourself and this is very powerful point because uh, you know a lot of people i have seen they keep on doing same thing as others are doing okay and that is where you know i found my sweet spot in uh, blending technicals and fundamentals and uh, you know you need to basically focus on both the elements so what happens is when i think about technicals lot of traders and speculators use it okay and lot of people even don't know that uh, you know technicals can be used for long term investing lot of people just have that mindset that okay no technicals is for short term it is for traders f and o ke liye hai why because most of these people are using it so that perception is built okay but if you use it for uh, investing it is also very very powerful okay but the investors have mind block that no no technicals to hum nahi kar sakte hum to long term investor hai and all that and that is good right because you get an edge if you implement a strategy where you use something which not most of the investors are using and traders don't see fundamentals if you blend both of the things then logically you will get odds in your favor because you have higher probability you already doing fundamental analysis which all other people are doing and then you are cross checking and validating and increasing your probability through technical analysis so that is where you get an edge in the investing and that becomes very very powerful and i i explain a very simple concept you know a lot of people say that can you know how can uh, you know technical analysis be useful in uh, long term investing okay and uh, i i give them a very simple example do you want to see this just type bio bring it on in the comment box so i have a technique called 45 degree technique okay so what i tell them is this i'll share the screen and you will get amazed so i tell them very simple thing that if you want to find compounding companies or companies which are growing for long period of time you don't need to spend too much time initially with fundamentals you just check any chart for 10 15 years like this this is like asian paint chart and if you are able to draw a 45 degree line like this then most likely you have end up into either stalwarts or a good fast growing company but on the other hand if there is any kind of sugar company or those kind of sectors you can immediately know whether it is a cyclical or not right let me see andhra sugars and you know that it is like very very cyclical just by seeing a 10 year chart you don't need to look at financials and say that okay whether it is a cyclical or a stalwart or something right then there is a company which uh, say for example turned around right say blue dart uh, which was doing good then again went bad and now it is probably turning around so you can again see from the charts itself and this is what i was talking about right blue dart had great days for 5 years and you say that okay now i am a long term investor buy and hold strategy and then it starts falling you don't buy you don't exit here but you in fact buy here you buy here and you buy here and continuously in 5 years you will get butchered okay and then you will not even have any uh, you know thing left even if it starts going up you will as soon as it starts moving up you will probably exit over here you will not be able to ride psychologically because you don't have any technical tools to do that but if you have a framework in terms of understanding uh, different charts and basic i am not saying you need to go deep dive but basic understanding of charts on a long term time frame like monthly charts rarely people use even people practicing technical analysis also don't do it but these are the cleanest of the charts which you can just use intuitively without even knowing indicators okay so that is the beauty of uh, you know blending fundamentals and technicals which i practice which is called technofunda investing 
and uh, that is it i think uh, we are towards the end of this session and we have covered the five important lessons hope this was a power packed learning session for all of you and uh, the the interesting image which i wanted to show for uh, the the proxy plays you know i i like this image quite a bit it is from uh, the shole movie right so this is more like a proxy fourth point which i discussed so i i i missed sharing this image but hope this will also give you an idea right so you just drive and that sector is moving or that company is moving and just because you are tagging your growth with that uh, parent company you can also enjoy that sidecar growth with uh, the original sector or a company right so that is the fourth uh, point which i thought i'll share it with you and you will probably remember with this image okay so now i'll share some gifts and uh, the books uh, which uh, peter lynch has written i have already shared uh, the copy here this is this is the book and there is one more book which he has written and there is one more very less popular uh, so you can check it out all over here i've uh, shared the link over here i will also put it in the comment section uh, you can just go to technofunda.co/peterlynch and you can uh, check it out all the books written by peter lynch and as i said you know if you want to learn more around investing systems in terms of how the entire technofunda process works and what is the exact method of a buy ad sell you can uh, check out this second link it is technofunda.co/life okay and hope you enjoyed this session if you liked it uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get uh, more and more of this videos and if you have not yet liked the video highly recommend just like the video so that uh, i know that you loved this and uh, will come up with a lot of such interesting topics and uh, sessions so thank you so much for joining and uh, have a remaining amazing day bye bye and see you in the next amazing session and if you want to read more books just check it out this uh, video also 10 best books and there is a video on uh, tools also like if you want to learn how to use different tools so just basically check out my channel i'm doing lot of uh, amazing uh, videos which will be helpful for your investing journey so make sure you go through them and you get best of the best from this particular channel thank you so much vivek mashrani here signing off and uh, take care bye bye